Good morning, friends. Julie here with Tip Tuesday, and it is around carpet cleaning. And how can I keep my area rugs clean? A lot of people are preparing for the market or just doing their spring deep cleaning. You know, you get totally motivated when it's above 50 degrees. So let me help you in that department. Today's gonna be really warm, so it's a good day for this kind of project. Uh, my carpet is currently on my back patio because I did this yesterday. Um, tip one for carpet cleaning and floors in general, don't wear shoes in the house. It's disgusting. If you just think about what's on the bottom of your shoes, you're trucking that into your sanctuary, leave it outside. Tip two, stay away from shag carpeting. I know I love shag carpeting, but honestly, when your kid barfs on it, you can't get it out. When you're walking in the middle of the night, it's like a sea of Legos hiding in there. You can't even see it. it it's just like, I feel like it's a danger zone in a shag carpet. It chokes up your beater brush with your vacuum. Then you got to use your hand attachment. It's just too much work. So stay away from the shag carpeting. Uh, tip three, when you're cleaning a stain, obviously you want to hit it while you can fresh. Don't let it sit. The longer it sits, you won't get it out. Blot, blot, blot. You want to suck out the dirt, the stain. You don't want to scrub because then you scrub the stain into the carpet. So blot up as much as you possibly can with like a microfiber rag. And then what I use to treat stains on carpeting, here's a secret. Dawn Platinum. I swear, I don't know what's in it, but it works so well. A little bit goes a long way. And it cuts grease, obviously. So it works so well on stains. And just and it works well on laundry stains. So Dawn Platinum is my go-to for a lot of things. So, you know, blot, blot, blot. Use a little bit of dish soap and your stain will be gone in no time. Stay away from like resolve those different kinds of spray cleaners because really what you're doing is you're putting a foreign chemical onto your carpet and then it looks clean for maybe a week and then you walk over it 8,000 times and literally whatever is stuck on you is now stuck on that spot on your carpet and you'll see it slowly start to come back and that's the reason why. It's not like you are, you know, using a uh, floor cleaning tool or machine that's putting a tire gallon of water in your carpet and sucking out you're not like it's just sitting there recollecting junk so stay away from those foreign kind of things and keep it natural a mixture of like her uh, hydrogen peroxide and vinegar that works really well too and you won't see stuff sticking to it another tip the indoor outdoor carpet though it may not be for everybody and i get it like in a family room, it's kind of tough because it's not soft for the kids to play on, but it cleans up so much easier. It has, it has literally no pill. So you can clean it up very easy. Nothing really sticks to it. I have one under my dining room table with three kids. I have zero stains. Thing's amazing. It wears well. It's just made for that outdoor kind of traffic. And they are making them better, I feel like, than years ago. They're, they're, I think they're catching on that people are using them inside. So take a look. You can get a really large size for a good price. Um, another tip, I don't know if you've seen them on the market. They have uh, carpeting called Ruggables, which claim to be washable. Sounds wonderful, doesn't it? To me, when I see it on the ground and they have like a special pad you have to order with them, it really seems like a blanket almost that you're putting on your ground. Like it doesn't have a carpet feel. I don't know how to really describe it other than like it feels like there's a piece of fabric on your ground, on the ground. So it may not be for everybody, but if you have kids and you have pets, you can roll that sucker up and take it to, you know, the... Um, laundry mat because you're going to need a large unit for that and you can wash it downfall on that I'm not super thrilled with how it washes the way that it's bound around the edges I feel like they need to do a little bit more work with that carpet so I love the idea it depends on the size that you get it depends on your family same thing with the indoor outdoor everything depends on so many different circumstances and what's important to you you know 
$100 may not be a lot to you, but $100 is a lot to somebody else. So it just depends on your situation. So I hope that helps. Uh, I always love to give you guys tips to try to make your life a little bit easier. We're all so busy. So let's just add on rolling up all of our indoor outdoor carpets and taking them outside and cleaning them today. I mean, you're not really that busy anyway, right? <laughs> I'm so sarcastic. Mine's literally sitting on my patio because I started it yesterday. <laughs> I didn't have enough time to finish it. So it's on my list today. Um, we have a new puppy and he, uh, may or may not have peed on it a couple times. So it's out there getting freshened up and cleaned up. And then when I've had it, and I think it's at its, it's time for its departure, then I'll roll it up and take it to the curb. And I think I spent a hundred bucks on it, so I don't really care. So there you go. Don't wear your shoes in the house. Stay away from the shaggers. They're so pretty, but stay away from them. Blot your stains. Try to use Dawn or a natural alternative so that crud doesn't stick to the spot. And lastly, vacuum your carpets. It sounds silly, but so many people don't vacuum enough. And then it just keeps going in the, the fibers and the crud just goes down further and further and then it's shot. So hope that helps. <laughs> See you guys later.